Hello, this is Joanne Hewins from lovetocreate.typepad.com. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to make this card. It is made using the Forever Fern stamp set and uh, the dies that go with it. I think they're actually called Forever Flourishing instead of Forever Fern. Now you can find those in our new catalog, the uh, Forever Fern stamp set is on page 110 and you can see it has dies that go with it you can buy that uh, in a bundle uh, and save 10 percent and the uh, the dies are called forever flourishing and then the stamp set forever fern so that's what we're going to work on today we are going to start with a piece of the thick Whisper White, and this measures four and a fourth by 11. And you probably can't see, but I have scored this at five and a half. And I'm just going to fold that in half, make sure I have everything straight, and then I'll use my bone folder to burnish that fold for us. Now, the next layer is a layer that will fit directly on top of this so it's cut at four and a fourth by five and a half and I have used this folder to go with this it's called tasteful textile um, I've already run it through so you don't have to watch me do that uh, for right now uh, while we're waiting on our new machines let me say if you have a folder that has Stampin' Up I've kind of got that covered but uh, if it says Stampin' Up your sandwich for that is going to be your basic plate and then you'll have your folder with the paper inside and then you'll have this blue plate and that's how you'll run that through the machine. Now um, you will uh, run this with the fold of this going toward the center and that way you're going to make sure you don't mess that up if you go across it's easy to get that out a little bit and cut it ask me how I know that so be very careful as you do that okay so I'm just going to take some glue and glue this directly onto the card I'm trying to decide which side I want to be on top I don't think it matters, just a, a choice. So I'm going to just add some glue over the front of that. And then um, we'll add that to the front of the card. So I kind of lined up the sides here, and hopefully that will line it all up. We'll see how it did. It's pretty good across the fold. It's got a little bit of residue stuck on there. And yeah, that looks pretty good. The good thing about the glue is it does give you a little bit of time, not much, but a little bit of time for movement. Now the next thing I'm going to do is add a piece of the uh, paper that goes with this set. And I don't think I marked the page, but that shouldn't be hard to find. Uh, it's really, really pretty. It's here on page 148, the Forever Greenery paper. Now, if you like green and if you like nature and leaves, you're going to love this paper. Okay, and I have cut a piece that is one and a fourth by five and a half. I usually cut that a tad longer so that I make sure it's long enough and then I just trim it. And uh, so I'm going to add a little bit of glue to the back of this. And I want to glue this down the center of my paper. And to do that, I use the, um, the dark line that goes through the center here. And I just line it up and count my squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
So I'm going to move that over so I'm in between two and I make sure that this is straight and goes all the way down. And now I can get that right down the middle. So I'll just put it there. Make sure that line is down the center of that and then I'll come down here and do the same. And so now my paper is even all the way down. I'm going to bring in a pair of scissors and just trim off that little bit of extra there. The easiest way to do that is just to turn your paper over and trim from the, the back. Okay, so we've got that done. And now we're going to work on the sign that's going to go here. Um, the words that I'm using are from the stamp set uh, Beautiful World. It's this one, You Make the World a Better Place. So I'm going to pull out the stamp for that. And I have some white scrap paper. Okay. There it is. I knew I had it. And for this one, I'm going to be using the Stitched So Sweetly dies. I think I have a light fixture that's about to go, so please just kind of ignore that uh, flashing. I apologize for that, and I'll make my husband look at that in just a little while. Okay, so I'm going to stamp that on my scrap. And then I'll be cutting that out with this die. And I'll place that on there like this. Now, I'm just going to go over to the side and cut that out real quick instead of pulling over the big shot. And uh, I'm going to get my sandwich. I'm sorry, I didn't have it ready to go. Um, Coming right back. Okay, and for my big shot, the sandwich that I used was the basic plate, this adapter plate, a clear plate, my fold, my work that I needed done, and then another clear plate. So that's what I used to run that through. Okay. And I'm ready to attach that to the card. I'm going to do that with dimensionals. So let me bring a few of those in. I'm actually going to leave a little bit of room at the ends because I want to be able to bring in my stems and attach those. So I'm going to put this on and it's pretty much in the center, maybe a little above. And I'm going to use these sides to kind of help me get that straight and even on there. So now we're ready to do our stems with the uh, Forever Firm stamp set. And this is one of the reasons I wanted to make a video for you because I'm using my Stamparatus. We just did a card uh, in class that used a lot of these and I was trying to keep it a little more simple. And so I set, it, set these up on the Stamparatus. And Yes, I have three different Stamparatuses, or Stamparati, is that how you would say that, to use. Most of you would only have one, so you would have to kind of change that around. Um, but I had this, I, I teach classes, and I had it uh, all ready to go. So I thought, well, I'm going to use it for this card. I actually was using it for another card, so I have a word here that tells the color for them to use, but I'm not using those colors. So what I did is I inked up, I placed my stamp 
on this sheet of paper, inked it up, stamped it, and then I went over and cut it out. And um, now I can go over and use my um, use my dies. I just had those here a second ago. There they are. So uh, I can take this is the die that I used. I cut that out, and as long as I don't move this at all, then I can use my dies to cut out some blanks that would look like this. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is place this die or die cut or the blank right inside what I cut before. I'm going to ink up my stamp. I'm using terracotta tile for this. So I'll ink that up and stamp. And it should stamp on there perfectly. And it did. You can see how this would be an easy thing to do if you're stamping multiples or making a lot of a card because it's easier to cut out a blank than it is to match everything up each time. So I've got my two cut out with this one and I will uh, clean that a little bit later. Now I'm going to bring in this stamp and for that one I used Old Olive. So I did it the same way. I stamped it, or I inked it, stamped it, went and cut it out, and then I just cut out some blanks for that. So here's my blank for this one. And on the class, I use Pretty Peacock, but for this card, I'm going to use Old Olive. So I'm gonna ink that up. and stamp it and there's that and then I'm going to do another one of those so I'm just going to ink it up and stamp and as long as I use this very same pattern or and the very same stamp without Moving it, I can do as many of these as I want. And then for the last one, I'm going to use Pretty Peacock. So there's my stamp. I did it the same way. I inked it. I stamped it. I cut it out. I cut out a bunch of blanks. And now I can just place this right in the... Uh, place that I made for it. I'm going to get my pretty peacock. Ink that up. And stamp it. Okay. And that looks perfect. And then I'm going to do that again for the second one. So I'll ink it up. And stamp it. And we're ready to go. All right. So we have all of our parts. So let me show you which ones I used. This is what I used for the terracotta. Uh, this is the one I used for the old olive. And then this is the one I used to go with the uh, pretty peacock ones. So if you're wondering which ones. Okay. All right, I'm gonna get out my glue and the card that I'm working on. And for this top, for this one, hard to pick up with my fingernails. For this one, I put uh, opposites there. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on each of these. And one will go 
over in here and then the other one is going to go from this corner like that and then I'm going to go ahead and do this, this old olive one and I kind of did the same thing on those so one is going to go from up in here and I may need to just trim that a little so it's going to go over in there remember I have those dimensionals under there so that keeps it from maybe going in as far as I need and I'm going to have to trim this one as well and put it like that and then we're ready for the uh, peacock I think I went a little bit lower on this one with my sign also so that's gonna go up under there and then I have another one this one I'm going to move my pattern a little bit and I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to the end of that and kind of put it coming from there. And then I'm going to get a dimensional and kind of stick that underneath. And then we're going to use a bow. I've already made my bow using the Ornate Garden ribbon pack. I have that so that you can see it. It comes in a two pack and has the old olive and the ornate and the terracotta tile. I'm sorry. And they are beautiful. They're easy to tie. Uh, a great ribbon. I'm going to get my glue dots and add this bow on with the glue dot. I'm going to kind of fold that under or fold it back so you don't see it from this side and just kind of add that to the center there. And then I've got some ribbon scissors here. I'm going to just kind of trim those ends like that. And then one more thing to do. I'm going to bring in some pearls. Now the pearls that I'm going to use today are the old configuration. It's uh, taken me a while to use up what I had. Uh, they are in the catalog. Let me pull this over and show you that They're in the back. Uh, and they look more of like this configuration now. but a basic that you really need to have, but these were a little bit too big, so I'm glad. I don't think they're in the new ones. So I'm gonna use this size, and well, it's stuck to my fingers. I'll just leave it there, I'm gonna put one there. Well, one there, and then one in there. And that's it. The card is made. Now, I'm not going to do the inside with you today, um, simply because in the one that I have here, I stamped each of those. I didn't use the Stamparatus when I made this one. And I stamped each of those, and it's not going to work with that on the Stamparatus to stamp it that way. Now, I, should, I could have colored in some blanks, a uh, blank of each one, and just added that on the inside as a cutout. Uh, but I didn't do that. So here we are, uh, easy to make. Uh, if you need supplies, I will have uh, my blog uh, as a uh, add a link. I'm sorry, as a link to my post, and I would be happy for you to visit my blog to buy any supplies you may need. Uh, 
and appreciate you washing today. And again, we were using the Forever Fern, the Beautiful World for the Saying, and the uh, Forever Fern Flourishing, Forever Flourishing uh, die set with this. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.